Hi, it's me again, Teacher Rosie. Hi, Classroom 2. Kindergarten, first grade. I found another Christmas story to read to you. It's called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, and there is his red nose right there. <laughs> Rudolph the Reindeer and there's Santa's sleigh. Ooh. All right, this is... <laughs> This is a famous story, so I got to read it. We were singing this song when I was a kid. We had to sing this song. We didn't have to, but we sang this song in school for fun. Um, so it says, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Barbara Shook Hazen. Adapted from the story by Robert L. May. Pictures by Richard Scarry. Oh, hey, I know Richard Scarry. He writes children's books, too. Okay. Well, I've got my Christmas tree behind me. There's a. <laughs> Here we go. Here's my son, Escher. Escher's in the army. Hopefully, he gets to come home for Christmas. I hope, I hope, I hope. And here's Lestenia. She's home. She's in UC Santa Cruz. She's online doing classes right now. There's Lestenia. Yay! Merry Christmas. Right. And here's... Here's Martin, my husband. Yay! <laughs> All right. I'll put those back up later. Sorry. Rude interruption. This is my pretty Christmas tree. I just decorated it yesterday. <laughs> today, today is Monday, <laughs> the last day of November. <laughs> Time to read Christmas stories. All right. Once there was a reindeer named Rudolph who lived at the North Pole in Toyland. Ooh. So this is Rudolph. Rudolph was younger and smaller than the other reindeer there. They all had proud, tall antlers. Rudolph's antlers were only tiny stubs. So the antlers grow out of their their heads. Um, and male, only the male deer and reindeer get antlers. Not the girls. Worst of all, Rudolph had a nose that was big and bright red. It was so red it glowed in the dark. Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like the other reindeer in Toyland. Oh, to have a small brown nose instead of a big bright red one. The other reindeer made fun of Rudolph and called him names. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! They teased over and over again until tears glistened on Rudolph's large red nose. They kicked up snowballs with their tiny hoofs and covered Rudolph with a blanket of white, fluffy snow. Sometimes the other reindeer made a circle around Rudolph and sang, Red nose, red nose, a funny sight, big as an apple and twice as bright. And so, so now these guys are in Toyland that's like supposed to be on the North Pole. So it's, you know, got a lot of snow there most of the year. All the reindeer loved to play games. They played tree tag and snow slide and tumble bones. But Rudolph was never asked to play. He stood behind a pine tree and watched. He was very lonely. Rudolph couldn't even play hide and seek with the rabbits. His glowing red nose gave him away every time. So there's Rudolph right there getting the snow kicked on him. Not very nice. Before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign on the gate to Toyland. Santa's team choosing time, the sign said. Oh, so over here. Santa's team choosing time. Uh, oh, and I see one, two, three elves. They're looking pretty old with those big white beards. All the reindeer were asked to line up at 8 o'clock in the meadow. Santa Claus was coming to choose the team that would deliver presents to every good little boy and girl in the world. The reindeer fairly danced with excitement when they heard the news. 
They pranced and tossed their antlers and pawed the snowy ground with their hoofs. Each reindeer hoped he would be chosen to guide Santa's sleigh. It was the greatest honor a reindeer could ever have. Rudolph sighed. He was ashamed to have Santa see his bright red nose, so he decided to hide. Oh, there's the big guy. <laughs> in the meadow, all the reindeer in Toyland except Rudolph stood in a line while Santa inspected them. Inspected them. So he, he's looking at them to see who's got the biggest muscles and the biggest antlers and so on and so forth. Um, Santa chose carefully. Only the fastest, the strongest, and the best reindeer would do. I think Dasher will be fine. He's the biggest reindeer, said Santa. Dasher wrote his elf assistant on a big book. And Dancer is the strongest, said Santa, pulling his beard. Dancer, wrote the elf. Ho, ho, ho. Let's see, continued Santa. Here's Prancer and here's Bixen. They may make the smoothest, sorry, they make the smoothest landings on rooftops. Comet is the fastest and Cupid is the most sure-footed, said Santa. I picked them. At last, said Santa, I choose Donder and Blitzen. They're best at twisting over treetops and skimming over telephone poles. Oh, very skilled. Peter and Santa's team were very happy. They rubbed noses. They danced and clicked their antlers together. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given good jobs. One was to try out electric trains. Another was to cuddle Christmas kittens. Ooh, cute Christmas kittens. Here's <laughs> the electric train. Uh, I thought that was the elves' job. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. He wanted to help, but he knew he would be laughed at. So there he is with his red nose. And there's a bunny rabbit. At last it was Christmas Eve. Santa and his elves were busy packing the sleigh. I don't care if they do make fun of me, said Rudolph suddenly. I want to help, too. I'll bring Santa's team a pail of nice cool water, he decided. They'll get thirsty on their long journey. Oh, well, that's very nice. How thoughtful. The night was bitter cold, and a terrible fog covered all the earth. Santa's elves kept bumping into each other as they hitched up the team. They could hardly see as they put on each bright red harness and tied each jingle bell. <laughs> There's the elves bumping into each other. To make matters worse, Dasher and Dancer were fighting over who was to be the lead reindeer. I was chosen first, said Dasher, stamping angrily. But you always trip over the moon, said Dancer, kicking a fallen star. Excuse me, even Santa was cross. We'll never get there if you two don't stop quarreling, he said. And where is my Christmas list? Dash it all, I can't see a thing with this fog. Just then, a soft red glow lit up the snow. Thank goodness, said Santa, suddenly jolly again. I found my list. Ho, ho, ho. I must have tucked it in my belt. Who brought this fine lantern? asked Santa. I must take it with me. Why, I can see perfectly now. <coughs> it's not a lantern, said Rudolph, trembling. Light comes from my... my... My nose. Boop. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, said Santa. I'm certainly glad to see you. Your light will guide my sleigh tonight. I appoint you head of my team and number one reindeer in all the world. Rudolph held his head high. Proudly, he pranced to the front of the team. All the other reindeer bowed. Donder and Dancer helped Rudolph put on his harness, and Cupid gave him a beautiful sprig of holly berries. Oh, how sweet. 
Well, now they like him. <laughs> then down, down through the clouds and over the sleeping horse houses. Sorry, not horses, houses. Santa and his team flew on that foggy Christmas Eve. And leading the whole procession was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So if you see a soft glow in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the most famous reindeer of all, is very close. There he is, leading the team. Rudolph. Gosh, see. Uh. Let's see if I can remember the song. Ah, here we go. It's okay if you want to turn it off now. Just make sure you make your comment at the end. All right. Um. <sighs> here we go. Okay. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all it's rudolph the red-nosed reindeer he had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names they never let poor rudolph, rudolph join in any reindeer games then one foggy christmas eve Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history. Like Washington, D.C. <laughs> That's what we always sing in school every year before Christmas break or winter holiday, right? Winter break. All right. Bye, you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.